All right, which of the following is not a redox reaction? One of the dead giveaways that you have a redox equation is if you have something that's all by itself, then it's not. So like on A, since I have nitrogen all by itself and then it's no longer all by itself, that must be a redox equation. So I'm going to go through and anything that has an element all by itself, I can actually just go ahead and mark that off because the only way that's going to happen is if redox actually occurs. All right. Once we've done that, that just eliminated two of our problems. The next thing that we're looking for that's a dead giveaway that there's a redox equation, looking for any metal that on the opposite side of the reaction has a different charge. So we need to figure out the ionic charges. Now on D and E, we have metals. And on D, the iron in this iron oxide would have to be a two positive since oxygen's a neg negative two. Yet this iron would have to be a three positive to take care of those three nit nitrates. And the only way that's going to happen is if electrons exchange. So that is actually redox as well. Now on the other two, they don't actually follow into that because all these sodiums are positive ones. So don't, I, I can't do the same type of thing there. So since it doesn't have any of those key things, we'd actually have to go through and check the oxidation numbers of everything. And I would actually start with C because it has fewer atoms. And all these hydrogens must be positive one because they are with nothing but... Uh, uh, non-metals. And if you check that, that means all those oxygens are negative two. So there's no way that's a redox equation. But it turns out how I've written this one, that's not a redox equation either, because all those charge states are fixed. They don't vary on that particular structure. 